a special night today as we honor Ken Taylor and Jay Williams with their induction into the MAC Honor Roll. Both were instrumental in the growth of MAC basketball and were key components of our early success in Albany and later as we moved to many venues throughout the Northeast. Jay Williams was something I inherited from Don DeGiulia, my predecessor as commissioner. I soon realized he was gonna be an instrumental part of the relationship I was gonna have within the MAC because he was the only one that knew how anything worked. My boss, Don Cook at Fairfield, and Don DeGiulia, who was the commissioner of the MAC at the time, uh, decided that I would be a good selection to be basically at what at that time was the PR director for the MAC. I accepted the position. And since the two guys, the two Dons, were such good friends, they decided that it would be great if I actually worked both jobs for six weeks, which, which, I, which I ended up doing. And then Rich came in, and obviously Rich and I got along very well. Rich, Rich had a lot of great ideas. Back in the day, it was Rich, myself, a secretary, and an intern. So there were four of us. So we would do everything. As we worked together on adding new member schools, finding new venues for the basketball championship, ultimately moving into the Knickerbocker Arena in Albany in 1990. Uh, we had a, a 12 feet tournament for the first time ever. So Jay was so important to get that done. If you're talking in terms of the defining moment, I think the, the first NCAA championship that we hosted was, was probably that, which was the 1995 NCAA uh, first and second round men's basketball tournament in Albany at the uh, newly opened Knickerbocker Arena. We were able to take that and, and use it to get future championships because we did such a good job for the NCAA. It was a lot of fun, it was, it was crazy to, to see all the people streaming in the streets of Albany and knowing that, that we had a lot to do with that, it, it, was, it was great. I was also in charge of Mac football. It was really a lot of fun. It was it was a good league. One of the cool things we were able to do is uh, my, my good friend Tom O'Jackson used to be the programming director of ESPN, and I suggested to him, when they had Monday Night Football, why don't we do a prelim game to Monday Night Football and have it be us? We actually did a Duquesne-Iona game as a lead-in to Monday Night Football on Halloween night in probably 1995 or 96. It is a beautiful night here in Pittsburgh on the campus of Duquesne University where the Iona Gales have come calling in this key Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference or MAC matchup. Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Punch and once again we here on the Deuce are bringing you another first, the first ever live national telecast of a MAC football game. We also had a, a deal with Channel 55 uh, out on Long Island and it was tape delayed. We had a couple of game, games that were too far to get the tapes there by driving them. So I had to have a plane take the tapes down to the airport. I picked them up at Islip Airport. I ran them to the studio, ran back. The, the plane ran back, got the second half tape. I ran back to Islip Airport, got them, and ran them back to the studio. It was a little different than we do things now. Jay was just a name I heard right from day one I started the Mac. Do you know Jay Williams? And I quickly got to know him and, and a great guy and a great somebody that I could talk to and who could kind of appreciate the uniqueness of what it's like to work at the Mac. Ken basically did a lot of the same job I did a few years after me. You know, we always call him Puck because he, you know, he's a big hockey guy and a really, really good guy. And uh, I, I was happy that he was able to carry on the tradition. Ken's done really good things at Monmouth, and I'm, I'm happy to call him my friend. Ken Taylor came to us in 1999, fresh out of school at Michigan as a Mac fellow. Ken was one of those first fellows. He was a special guy right from the get-go. We were getting ready to host the NCAA Frozen Four for the first time in Buffalo, and Ken was the only one that knew anything about uh, ice hockey. So immediately as a fellow, I had some important functions to serve within the conference. I really loved doing the NCAA events. I'd say we, the first one, um, first big one I did was a 2000 and three frozen four so that was a chance to show that the that given the right you know stage we could do it just as well as anybody else could so uh, I really enjoyed that that turned into uh, to basketball Ken stayed with us for I think some 15 years and he did indeed run basketball
basketball for us for many, many years and uh, helped uh, grow the league even further with ESPN relationships and with our ability to host NCAA championships. And so, important part of our culture. 2007, 2010, 2014, got to be you know tournament manager, and, and those were um, those were long days. It was a lot of hard work, but so rewarding because you really got a chance to create the, the biggest stage. It really is the biggest stage the NCAA has with the, with March Madness. Easily the the most fun game I was ever at was in 2000, uh, 2009 you know, when Siena beat Ohio State in the first round. As a Michigan grad, that was extra gravy on a great win. Ronald Moore hitting two three-pointers, one to tie the game in the first overtime, the second to win the game uh, in the second overtime. You're not supposed to cheer when you're sitting on press row, but we may have been guilty of a little bit of rooting and maybe a little applause when those shots went in. We saw him uh, marry Sandra Sapone from Manhattan College, and that's a fun part of the job to see that uh, development. I met my wife, uh, Sandra, really through the MAC, and so we, of course, met through work and we eventually got married. I can associate well, when both my kids were born, uh, when Catherine was born, I was supposed to be running the MAC softball championship. When Samantha was born, uh, I was sitting at my desk and uh, my wife called and said, it's time to go. And so, uh, so you know, th those are three defining moments. When he left us to join mom at the university, we understood that was the chance for him to get on campus, renew that experience as he continues his career path. If it wasn't for the MAC, I would have never made it to Monmouth. And um, I have a terrific Monmouth family, um, and, and I really appreciate the opportunities that they've given me. Um, I mean, it started right off the bat. Um, first basketball game of the year was at UCLA, and to, um, King Rice told me during the summer at some point, he, he said, hey, I just watched some film. I said, I think we can compete with UCLA. Sure enough, we pull out the game in overtime, and, um, and, and I realized how lucky I was because I got to see it firsthand.